So are you, are you paying attention to the foods that give you energy versus the foods that make you tired and being conscious of the effects of good or bad food on your emotional, mental, spiritual, and physical health? Yes. Uh, I have started paying attention to my diet tenfold. I didn't pay attention to my diet before. I used to get 2 a.m. Taco Bell all the time. It was really bad. It wasn't Nachos, good for me. Bell Grande. Love Nachos, a good Bell 2 Grande, Taco some Bell. Chalupas, a Baja Blast. Oh, everything. Nothing has changed in 30 everything. years. You guys are eating the same shit we so, did. So all that, all that crap made me feel like crap that night when I ate it, after I ate it, and also the next day. So I cut out that. I stopped eating fast food majority of the time. There's always the here and there while I'll, I'll partake. But I mostly started really just putting in good energy for my body and stuff, trying to cut down the carbs. Because I noticed I eat a Big Mac or something with fries oh, and a soda. A ton of sugar. I'm literally passing out in the next 30 minutes just dead. And there's nothing I can do. But it tastes amazing. It, it does it taste it pretty tastes great. Amazing. I'm going to be honest. It doesn't taste amazing. <gasps> Hot take. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Keep going. Well, are you just like Big Macs? Or you, I just like, you, I don't think McDonald's or like fast food? tastes good. I don't really like McDonald's either. I'm more it of a Chick-fil-A. Like Chick-fil-A, Taco Chick Bell, Popeyes. Oh, Big Big Macs are heaven. Quarter Big pounder with cheese. Good. The McDonald's okay. fries. I like you don't like McDonald's fries, McDonald's fries. I like their Gracie. egg McMuffins. That's a the sacrilege. If you're going to eat junk food, let's talk about McDonald's fries. <laughs> oh they're kind of soggy and salty yeah. and just If you get them fresh, they're amazing. Fl- they're tremendous. They're really good. They're tremendous. I like it with their sweet and sour sauce, yeah. too. Oh. I don't know about that. I have not tried it's, that. It's pretty good. I like the sweet and sour we sauce. We yes. digress. <laughs> Bob, the, Bob is so very yes. excited about our digression. I am more conscious of what I eat and put into my body. Yeah, for for me, it's less like like stopping putting in those foods in my body. But I used to like get Chick Fil A every single day, and I I'm not like exaggerating every single Chick-fil-A day, but Sunday every day I would get Chick Fil A every day, and like I wouldn't think any. I would just be like, y- chicken's good for me. Let's now, what did eat you it. get at Chick Fil A? Fried nuggets, and um, now. With Never Corey telling me fried. all this about all this stuff I about like, like unhealthy food, food. It's good. I sit there and I'm like, "Wow, you're really getting fried food after you just had like Cheez Its for lunch. Like, is this good for you?" And now I kind of like question myself. So you which wait, is, wait, you question the Chick Fil A and the Nuggets, but not the Cheez Its. She's got the Coach <laughs> Corey Wayne virus. All I'm, I'm saying is going that through the mind. I'm, it's I know it's not good that I'm not I'm cutting it on my diet but at least I'm at the first step of questioning like wow this isn't good for me why am I putting in this in my body I haven't gone to the point where I'm like cutting it out but I'm getting there and I'm getting getting like clarity on like okay this isn't good for you let's stop even though I'm working on stopping (laughs) Chick-fil-a is really good and it's really really cheap it's a process yeah no I always get the kids meal it's six dollars like Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't I? Least I got it all for free. Yeah, that's, it is the best. That's awesome. It was really good. I, I heard I that the shakes and everything. The sandwich well done is like amazing. I need to try that. Uh, it depends what you get. I mean, I've tried literally everything on their menu, so I haven't so tried you, the gold nuggets. You notice how certain foods make you feel versus stuff like the juice or the smoothies, even though you might not like the smoothie. Yeah, and you're no, probably well, cursing me mentally every time you. <laughs> You, you take a, a swallow of that stuff. Well, yeah, like Fuck definitely you fast food doesn't make me feel good. What's that? Fast food doesn't make me feel good at all. But but the greens and the smoothies and all that stuff does. Yeah, Even though more, you don't want to drink it. It's more about like I'm trying to just get fast food because it's cheap, easy, quick. Like, I don't know. It's just convenient for me to go get like Chick Fil A instead of like going to the grocery store and like go for the grilled. Yeah, I just I, all I have is a microwave. So like, do I cook lean cuisines? You need, no, no, no. You, no microwaving food. Actually. This is what I was actually looking into myself. Today you need a little hibachi out there in the dorm. Into the dorms and stuff, all that jazz. Basically, um, this one day, two days a week, I'll prep all my meals. Basically, like I do like a chicken, some kind of protein, a carb, and a vegetable. And there's these little boxes. I pre-cook it all before. I'll cook my steak. I'll cook my chicken. I don't have a kitchen. And I'll microwave this stuff. That I is don't true. Have a kitchen. Uh, I have a microwave and a panini press. You just re- so what's uncomfortable about eating, exercising, thinking, and living this way? Do we? 
you say something. You feel like you got something I to mean, say. I mean, who wouldn't want to eat ice cream and yummy fried food, you know? Like, I feel like that's it tastes really good, and I love eating it. So it's uncomfortable to step out of my comfort zone and eat healthy stuff because I'm not used to it, and I'm used to that good food. But I got to learn that you can eat good, healthy food, like, but it's just kind of a sacrifice because you're sacrificing all that other good fried food. So it's kind of just like picking and choosing and figuring out what you want and what you don't want. So I'm just trying to find good, healthy foods that I enjoy eating and trying to exercise and put past being lazy and watching YouTube and trying to get past all this like uncomfortability of doing all this stuff because obviously it's uncomfortable but I'm just trying to work towards being comfortable in a routine and being comfortable with working out being comfortable with eating healthy and all this stuff because it's it's really different for me I've never done this in my whole life so I'm working on it definitely getting better what about you okay um so what's uncomfortable for me for when I exercise is just the actual exercise itself, my muscles and ligaments just being sore from the act of working out in that moment. And that's what's uncomfortable for while I'm exercising. And what's uncomfortable for me while I'm eating is kind of fighting back that crave and temptation from previously bad foods I used to quite indulge a bit and, um, and just eat a ton. So kind of fighting back that craving. It's also the craving with um, basically the time saving, say, Oh man, I could just, you know, it would take, take like 20 minutes. I can just drive to this fast food place, get all this meal and stuff instead of spending like 40 minutes cooking my own thing, doing all this stuff. I can, it's just so convenient. I can just, so convenient. the convenience <laughs> is kind of uncomfortable sometimes, but it's just working through that. Um, and that's, that's what's uncomfortable for me. I feel like also chocolate cravings, like, are so intense sometimes, like it, it overpowers That's me. That's a chick problem. That's a chick uh, problem. Every yeah. single girlfriend I've ever had it has a chocolate problem. And do you know that chocolate actually gives you like a ser- like serotonin, like yeah, it boosts your good. serotonin. There's levels. a lot of caffeine. It's ca- chocolate's good. It's tasty. Yeah. No, I yeah. love chocolate. Like sometimes it's so unbearable, I have to go to the vending machine and get some because I like I need it. What's your poison? Um, Hershey's bars with the almonds in them. I like the yes. Okay, that's a good, gotta have the nuts. Anything. Chocolate and nuts. It's so good. Also, chocolate covered popcorn from Peter Brook. But that's like a home. Almond thing. clusters. I think Russell Stover's. And turtles. Oh my gosh, we could go on forever. 